Okay. Hi, Cope fans. This is attempt number two at a video. Uh, I thought today I would talk about the 19th Dices and some of the progress I've made on my Imperial Guard Regiment um, towards the campaign, the Sipper Instant. So, last video was all about the Taurox. Um I'll pick that up first. Uh, as you can see, it has some colour. Um, some basic airbrushing, nothing nothing more than that. I've used uh, mainly airbrush this far, um, plus the silver work. No washes as yet, no weathering as yet. Um, I like to get a nice flat finish on the paint. You can see the shading is there. The shading was done using a combination of these two model air colours. So uh, scarlet red and medium brown. There you go. Okay, so I, I mixed these two together. Uh, well, initially, in fact, I used just medium brown as the shading, and I mixed these two together as a top coat. Um, I didn't like just that's too bright for my for my for my taste and to fit in with the army. So. Um, and that's what gives you a nice flat finish. I'm very, very new to airbrushing. In fact, I've only started in the last three or four months, and mainly up till now I've been base coating only. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with the with the finish. Uh, next stage is is washing up the metal and starting to work out um, some of the details. What I'm going to do with the wheels and a hell of a lot of weathering. Um, so I really want it to look like it's been in a war as opposed to a perfect tank. Uh, just to show, we're also doing Chimera at the same stage. This is a second hand one I bought. It was painted with a grey textured paint, um, which in fact I think I used it when it was still grey in the last video to show it as a size comparison. So I paint stripped it using Fairy Power Spray and a toothbrush. Uh, unfortunately Fairy Power Spray has now been changed and if you use it, it doesn't have the same chemical components. So um, don't buy any new fairy power spray, but if you've got old stuff, it's fantastic with a toothbrush. Works really well. And as you see, I've used the same colours. Quite like this um, khaki yellow, which is another theme colour of the army as well. Works well for, um, for these roll-up bags uh, and so on and so forth. Um, track guards are on here, as already came like that. Um, looks good. So. I've got this one, and I've done another one, so I think one of the things that's key to show when you're talking about airbrushing and shading, get the camera there, you can see as you run down the crevice in here the brown, the original brown work, and across the lines and again down in, in, the, in the crevices here, it's just the same as you do it the old fashioned way but with the airbrush just so much quicker you get under here underneath here is brown still and what, what the airbrush does is it really does a great job of catching the right angles um, I really am a believer when, you, when you're doing your base coat you kind of go from all the angles and then when you're doing your shading you're particularly trying to catch the underneath and when you're doing your highlight you're trying to catch it 45 from the top angle so it works really well I've also got a very, very old, when I mean old, this, I've painted this particular tank four times. <laughs> so when I paint stripped it, I literally stripped off three layers of paint that I put on myself. Um, I've had this since I was at school. It's still, these are lead, as is the tank bit, so you know, but it's, it looks a bit battered, it's not perfect, but they are traitors. So it's all good. Okay. I've also been getting down to some of my last cannon team. Uh, what are they called? Crew? Last cannon crew. Indeed. Last cannon crew. Uh, as you can see, this is where the reds that match the red, the yellows that match the yellows, it all comes together. So it's kind of all earthy colours. I have a brown. Um, board, my trees are, are all orangey red, um, so that that this is all designed to to mix in together. 
so I've done I use I use the same colors but I just I just swap them around so they always wear red trousers but sometimes they wear yellow bandanas sometimes orange sometimes red um, you'll note that there is a red cross over the imperial insignia that is because they're traitors okay now another one same model painting three different ways quite deep shading I'm a big fan of put all the base colors down and then all over wash and then pick out some highlights works really well for these kind of models Auto cannon team. Now this is me showing you an earlier stage. So with this model, yeah, I haven't done an all over wash. I'm just putting the flat colours down, and I'm just going to wash it all over with Agrax, some non oil on the metal areas, sometimes some um, alternative washes around there. I use some oil washes and stuff like that to get the detail. And just to show you something else. Uh, rocket launcher team and again red cross over the imperial signia I'm gonna do I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do with the imperial signia on the end yet I might do another red cross or it might be so heavily weathered that you might not be able to see it yet but being as I've not got that far I don't know just yet okay that's today's uh, short update video uh, I'll show you some more in a couple of weeks time when I've got further on the tanks and the men uh, as I aim to get ready for the first two games for the Cyprians. 